work for me. And she did a new beginning herself. She discovered the excitement of a fashion all for herself. This is Janice, you call me super, super, super. Whoever knows, whoever knows. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very ugly word, a travesty. I work miracles, senor, not pimping. I say, I give the fashion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these issues very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Talk Show. You Mr. Hooker on my tongue. <laughs> Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am, uh, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, where in Latin? I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride, I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. And I was called, and chosen, to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? To happy money now? she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. Opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier phone in station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess the line has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it's as you say, a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but. I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair. Get to the bank on the main drag. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know. Why, Laszlo? Why? Did you bet you? I was born naked and I'm going to die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating to be in the hot leather of a chair with a cool wind in the north on your naked body. I'm, I'm going to have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free? Keep the engine running. We'll be in and out in no time. Of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm... Good. Well, what about oh. winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows... All units on the back road progress back into the point of time. I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. And all shriveled up by the sound of it. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the dirt? No. Look, I'm just leaving somewhere because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things. Dirty is real. Open your eyes. Pick up your pants. Come on. Come on, lads. Well, you can just shake your head for the least of the interest. We have one member of now for the first time since 1977. Dirty is back. A lot of people are here to see a dirty and dirty guy. What? Of hanging out with loads of naked chicks. I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself, or or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Have a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest-growing U.S.-run media conglomerate of the past five years. going on about 
about problems like the you know, gum, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. This is El Poro on the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels, and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. About me. Well, not my Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. And free from potting out a clean bathroom. He left so much as one hair on the sofa was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed a hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now he brings his mother lunch to bed. Here to go. Dress like Stage is getting too big to be chipped. Then I have apparently will break in a pump. Seven and he's making mad at me 23,000 a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, read, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a marketing company making photocopies all night. Hell, he'd go to sleep during the day. That's another eight grand right there. So now, I'm buying me a bass boat trailer. What do you say to that? Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. Exploitation? Don't kill me! Don't Kid. How can I support something I own? Sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the weight line the toilet paper. And then they say this is made out of milk cream. I'll tell you, we're for a living in the American way. That, and then the only thing more American is have to work for you. That sounds a little oppressive and even despotic. Exactly, like we hit the nail on the head that time. My kid, I'm telling you. Shut the school down, make the kids work. That book stuff all for anyway. And, and doctors, and politicians, lawyers, and whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney sweet paralegal photocopier, because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and cross practice. So we bought the new Maibatsu Monstrosity. It's so big. We lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu Monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles. But it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my calling irrigated. I just wanted to say something about the internet. You know, the information superhighway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. Isn't it amazing? I think it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap. I mean, it's just dumb. It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you do. I mean, the clothes that you want to buy is what do you do? I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I show Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy things online. Hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds and lure these 
fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key.
baby. All right. announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You found. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory, where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. This is his final mission, to storm the White House with his friends and become president of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game. Pogo the Monkey plastic belts, Pogo the Monkey book covers, Pogo the Monkey car covers. With the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tiny sports jacket? With the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products if she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you're Red Possum. Good eating. Uh, I really can't well, say that, it. Well, you on track sometimes. I tell you, man, it's good eating. Hot, raccoon, eat zebra meat. It's pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons. Sometimes they come with notes attached, just like a fortune cookie with wings. In the world, world, not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat real stringy. Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the dormitory.
bounce off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thiazide, the tummy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Borky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high-voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new My Boxing Monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, what a, that's a good commercial. I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lambo. Is that your real name? Huh? A corporate guy. Triads think they can mess with me. Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Yeah, sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil. Tetris, the devil, oh. the great cavity cover up by J. Bill Tiggy Bottom. See what I've seen? If you heard what I've heard, you'd never brush your teeth again. Uh, I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you candy. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue pays my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since the commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Tomatsu Pharmaceuticals? We'll be back after some important messages. Hello! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. But now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is here from Zypatu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Bread, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. Another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Hey, Tommy's off making people bleed. 
Or tried to. He'll never be as tough as his pop. But he left you a note on the table. The laundry has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass. But don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. We say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. I'm not ashamed. 